Hey guys, I want to show you a new custom run for the Nexus 4. It's called Chameleon OS. As always, I'll put all the links in the description if you want to go ahead and install it. What I should mention before I start this review is the ROM is still in beta, so there may be some bugs. I've been using it for a little while now, and I haven't noticed anything major, so most of it is pretty damn stable. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you install this ROM has got to be the heavy theme, and I've got to say, it's really nice to see something different. All the other ROMs kind of look the same. They start up and they all look the same. This ROM looks pretty different. Now, if we uh, check out the status bar right here, you can see these green icons. This green theme is all the way through the... Uh, Chameleon OS and it does make it look kind of cool. You can also see these backgrounds that's given to the apps again It makes it look more refined. And it does make it look quite different from other ROMs If we check out the app tray button right there You can see a cool little chameleon on it again a nice little touch and if we go to the lock screen again You can also see that chameleon in the uh, circle right there and the unlock as easy as that So if we jump into the tray again here You can just see how evident those backgrounds are on the uh, app and again You can see the green theming up here on the apps and widgets it's all pretty much green, so uh, yeah. You can also see that theming in the dialer and messaging app, so let's go ahead and check those out. If we open the dialer here, you can see you've got that green color on the dark background. It just makes the dialer pop a little bit more than, say, for example, the stock colors. It looks pretty awesome, and again, these colors are consistent throughout the whole ROM, which uh, gives it a very refined and polished look. If we check out the messaging app right here, um, we create a new message. Again, you've got that green effect with the dark backgrounds. It looks pretty nice, I've got to say. I really like the uh, theming of this ROM. You can uh, tap this button here. You've got a lot more green icons. It's very green. If you don't like green, you're not really going to like this. If we uh, Let's just jump into the settings right here so we can check those out. Again, it's got the uh, theming here. Again, you've got the green and dark backgrounds. It just looks, it, you know, it's consistent throughout the whole ROM. And I think that's what really matters because if it's not consistent, it kind of looks a bit shabby and a bit crap. Because this is consistent, it really makes it look polished and uh, definitely, definitely nice in my opinion. One of my favorite customizations and features of this ROM has got to be the notification shade. You can see that right here. The notifications have this cool kind of half gray, half dark color effect, which I think just looks really awesome. But what I really like is this, this down here. And you've got notifications and toggles. You can switch between them. If you hit toggles, you can see you've got this uh, awesome panel right here that gives you your Wi-Fi toggles, GPS, all that stuff. And a bit lower, you've got your brightness slider and your volume sliders, which includes stuff like, you know, your uh, media volume, your alarms, your notification volume. It does all work. And again, it's uh, pretty damn awesome that it's right here. You know, it's... Uh, Kind of cool that you just have to switch it like that. There are loads of different customizations you can do, which I'll show you in a minute. But that is definitely one of my favorite features of the ROM, that you can just have all these uh, quick shortcuts right here in your notification shade. Chameleon ROM also has this awesome sidebar feature built into the ROM. If I just show you that here, if I pull in from the left, you can see this bar shows up. I've got browser, email, uh, Gmail, Google Plus, and Maps in there. You can pull that out anytime, and you can switch between your apps. So let's just dive into Gmail here. You can pull it back out, dive into your Google Plus. It works really well and you can customize that however you want. So let's jump into the settings and see what we can customize on Chameleon OS. And here we go. So under interface, you can see interface right here. We've got launcher, lock screen, themes, and system. You do have a customizable launcher straight from the get-go, so you don't have to install Apex or stuff like that. And you've got home screen options, for example, grid sizes, get rid of the persistent search bar, hide icon labels. You've also got gestures, which is actually really cool. So if you click these, you can change your swipe up, swipe down, pinch, and spread gestures. And I've uh, changed the swipe up to open the app drawer. So if we just test that out, you can see it opens the app drawer when I swipe up. So uh, kind of a cool customizable feature right there to have. We uh, jump back into the settings here. You've got all your other stuff that you uh, normally have. Transition effects, turning off the scrolling wallpapers. Right at the bottom, you've also got folder style as well. And you can have st stacked grid and uh, carousel. So that's pretty awesome right there. Underneath that, you've got the draw, and this is pretty standard as well. You've got your or orientation. You can hide apps. You can join the widgets with the app so you don't have to uh, press the button at the top. You can also mess around with the transition effects, and you can uh, show the indicators and stuff like that if you want to as well. In terms of the dock, again, you can mess around with the pages. You can add pages. You can change the icon scale as well so you can make the icons bigger or smaller. So you can see you've got a lot of customization on the launcher right here. If we dive into general, you've got your auto rotate screen. You've also got full screen mode, which I'll show you a little bit later. And again, you've got the general icon scale of the whole uh, whole thing. So pretty awesome in terms of the launcher customization. So here we go with lock screen customization. And you don't have as many options here as you do on other ROMs. For example, you can't change or have a different wallpaper than your stock wallpaper for a lock screen. What you can do is change when to have a battery status. For example, always on or only when charging. 
You can also maximize your widgets and you do have slider shortcuts as well. So you can kind of access your apps quickly just from the uh, slider right there. But that's pretty much it in terms of lock screen customization. Underneath that, we've got themes. If we dive into this, it's got a pretty comprehensive theme manager right here. And you can see you can have complete themes or you can have a theme mixer. And if you click that, you can change different sets of themes. So for example, you can have different wallpapers. You can have a slightly different status bar. You can see I've only got one theme in here right now, but you can mix and match your themes and that's pretty awesome. So you don't have to just have this one Chameleon OS theme. You can have certain parts of it and switch it out with different icons stuff like that so it's uh, pretty awesome in that respect and you also got your get themes thing right here which gives you op options for example goo and chameleon os forums and some other stuff like pimp my my ui pretty awesome in terms of uh, theme management so next up we got system and i'm just going to kind of run through this quite quickly because it's the same as every other kind of custom rom status bar customization so you can mess around with the clock where it's where it's situated all the locations battery status style for example you can have the circle mod percentage circle circle with percentage you can uh, change the signal as well. You can have text or hidden brightness control and show notification count right there. Underneath that quick settings panel, you can customize the quick settings. You can have the uh, quick pull down tiles and layout. You can change where stuff is pretty standard stuff right there. Underneath that, you've got your status bar toggles. This is the section that I actually really liked. So currently, well, I, when I showed you, I had it on page, which is this thing. So you can change the notifications and toggles right here. You can also uh, change that to compact if i pull it down now you can see on the notification shade here we've got them at the bottom so you can uh, scroll through those just like you could before obviously you don't have your sound stuff but it's quite quick to get to if you want it right there so uh, pretty awesome in terms of that customization you can also change the uh, toggles position collapse volumes you know all that other stuff hide scroll bar moving on the app pp bar this is the thing where i pulled it in from the left which you uh, can add this is where you go if you want to add apps to it and customize it you can enable or disable it you can set it up right here and you can see it opens this little app and you can drag your gallery or any other app into this bar and it'll now be there when i pull it across underneath that we've got power menu and this is pretty standard as well you can see we've got expanded desktop mode and uh, this rom doesn't come with pi so if i turn on expanded desktop mode you're probably wondering how i navigate around well what it does is it quickly brings up the uh, navigation buttons if you want to move around so you just pull it up from the bottom here you can go back to the home screen you can see the buttons will stay there for a little while and then they'll time out and again you've got your full screen mode so quite a different take on it pretty awesome because you know some people don't like pi or don't want pi because it takes up too much space this is a good alternative for that underneath that you've got pulse notification light so you can mess around with your notification like settings you can set certain apps to have certain colors and different timing rates and stuff like that you can, uh, when your battery's low, it'll be red, charging yellow, fully charged green. Again, that is customizable. You can change the colors right there and you can test it as well. Underneath that, you've got the navigation bar, so buttons and layout. Again, you can kind of lock different things in. You can add certain things. If you unlock the bar here, you can add right this and you can add, for example, the menu button. You can see the menu button will be persistent and you can lock that in there and now it'll always be a menu button. So uh, there you have it. It also has a few other features. For example, if you go into display right here, you can see you can d disable and enable rotation. You've got your uh, brightness. If you dive into brightness, turn automatic, you can adjust that so you can change the automatic brightness levels. There's a lot of customization on this ROM, volume, rock awake, loads of stuff that I've probably also missed. You've also got profiles right here, loads of different stuff. You've got super user. And another thing that's quite cool and a lot of ROMs don't have is permissions management. So for example, now be careful with this because you can kind of mess up your apps. I've installed Facebook right here and Facebook has a lot of permissions. So if you go into this, you can kind of disable and enable what you allow this app to do. So be careful because you might break the app. You might stop its push notifications, all that sort of stuff. But for example, if I don't want it to have the wake clock, I can turn off wake clock and now it doesn't have that permission. So uh, there you go. That probably will kill push notifications. So be careful with it. Nonetheless, it's kind of a cool option to have. Right at the bottom here, you've got performance, and this is pretty standard. It's not a custom kernel to the degree of Franco's or Trinity's. You can't change that much. You can only change, for example, the governors, change the minimum and maximums. You can't overclock on this right here. You've also got some memory management and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, pretty awesome in terms of a custom ROM. Like I said, it's still in beta, but I really haven't come across that many problems. It's pretty awesome. So uh, there you have it. That's Chameleon OS. Peace out.